Alrighty, so in order to see osmosis in action, we're gonna use some eggs. Now, um, check out my experimental setup. I've got two glasses um, and a piece of paper to record my data. I've also got light corn syrup and a bunch of vinegar. Um, and the last thing I have is this Pyrex dish. This is where I'm going to use the vinegar. I chose not to use plastic just in case the vinegar might break it down a little bit. So I've got a Pyrex dish and um, something to cover. So um, the first thing we're gonna do, today is day one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two eggs, the last two in the carton, and I'm gonna just place these directly in the um, dish with vinegar. Now I want the eggs to be totally covered. So I'm gonna put them in that dish with vinegar um, and then I'm gonna just put the cover on top and I'm not gonna come back and get them for 24 hours. So a whole day later, the shell will be gone. One eternity later. All right, so welcome back, it's day two. Um, and the first thing we need to do is remind ourselves of this experimental setup. So I've had two eggs in vinegar for 24 hours. I've got my light corn syrup, which I'm going to use today. Got some measuring cups with water. And I've got a tape, whoops, I do have a tape measure. Um, tape measure recovered. And um, I've got a paper where I'm going to record what I'm doing. So um, the first thing we're going to do is prepare our two solutions. Now, um, come check this out. In the first cup, we're going to have a corn syrup solution. which is gonna have one half cup of water and one fourth cup of corn syrup. I'm using light corn syrup. And in cup two, I'm just gonna put three quarters cup of water. So there's solution two, it's just plain water from my tap. See, look at these two eggs. Look what's happened to the brown shell. So the brown shell has almost completely dissolved. And um, we can still touch the eggs. We can even pick up this shell. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to the sink and we're gonna rinse these off. There we have it, two eggs with just the cell membranes, all right? Because what I need to do is collect my initial data. So I am going to find the length of each egg along its longer axis. And I'm also gonna find the circumference by measuring around the egg. Now, if you don't have a tape measure like this, take a piece of string, use that and mark um, the circumference of your egg, and then you can put that string out flat and measure it on a ruler. So this egg's going in our corn syrup. This egg's going in our water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check these out tomorrow um, in another 24 hours, and we're gonna measure them again and see what happened. We're gonna see if the water moved across the cell membrane, and if so, in what direction. Um, and we finished our experiment. We just need to get our last piece of data. So um, one thing I did here, by the way, um, in my corn syrup solution, I put a spoon over the top of the egg 
um, because it was floating on top of that more dense corn syrup solution. And I just want to make sure that I didn't press it against the bottom. So that's my setup here. And come check this out. Let's get our last bit of data. So I'm just going to take my egg. This one's a little floppy and you could even write down your um, observations of how the eggs feel. Um, but this one feels like pretty, uh, pretty floppy. Um, and again, I just need to measure the length and the circumference of my egg. We'll grab our egg that was in water. Now this one feels really firm. Um, it's definitely grown, it's starting to look more like an ostrich egg, um, but let's see how long it is. The question now is why did this one shrink and this one grow? So we'll figure out why in the next clip. All right, um, so why does this lab work? Why did our eggs end up looking like this? Well, let's remember what we did. We took two eggs, we put them in vinegar for 24 hours to dissolve the shell, which left them looking like this, and then we put one egg in a cup with corn syrup solution and another in a cup with tap water. And after another 24 hours, we measured them to see if they grow or if they shrunk. And they did. The one in corn syrup got squishy and small, whereas the one in tap water grew quite a bit and it was very firm. So uh, why? Well, um, we're going to look at some simple diagrams to make sense of this. And I'm going to have to use a word called solute. So in the plain tap water solution, um, this was actually cup B we didn't have much solute in the water, meaning there wasn't much stuff dissolved. Um, now, that's important because what we're going to compare is the concentration of water, which is kind of a weird thing to think about, but in this solution, this tap water, I have a high water concentration. Now, inside the egg, sure, eggs have some water, but um, there's a lot of other stuff too, right? Besides water, other molecules. So the water concentration was way higher out here than it was inside the egg. So water ended up moving into the egg in order to balance out the water concentration. It moved into an area where there was more stuff um, so that we would get closer to having the same amount of stuff per water inside and outside the egg. So our egg in water got bigger as water moved inside of it. Now we can compare that with our corn syrup solution um, where we actually have a lot of solute or dissolved stuff um, and that solute is these sugar molecules which I'm showing here by these bigger black dot. So the sugar molecules make it so that my concentration of water in this corn syrup solution is actually lower than it would be in just pure tap water. Um, I have less um, water per area because I've also got some sugar molecules. So um, in this case, instead of water moving inside of the egg, water from the egg moved out into the surrounding solution in order to balance out that water concentration again. So um, water was moving out in order to balance out the water concentration. And so what we end up seeing is that my egg in corn syrup, which had more solutes or stuff in this surrounding sugary solution, got smaller because water moved out of the egg. And my egg in water, with more solutes in the egg than in this water, had the water move into the egg to balance out that water concentration 
and so it got much bigger. So now with that explanation, I bet you can answer those post-lab questions, so give it a try. Okay, everybody, we're here, city high, kind of snowing. Um, this is Haley. Haley has our very floppy egg, kind of gross. Um, Kayla has our, our nice bouncy ball egg. And first we're gonna show you, we're gonna test whether they bounce. So we've got the floppy egg that was in corn syrup. Does it bounce? One more time. That was kind of sad. Okay. Ooh, potential bouncy ball candidate. Now let's see if they splat. One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was really egging pretty high. These are the remains. Goodbye, osmosis. Goodbye. <laughs> 